the system issued a reminder before the start of the next mission. You need to get to the hospital within 39 minutes. Useful tips 1. If you stand motionless for a short time or for a long time, sooner or later the mystery will attack the player. 2. The player is now at the very beginning of his life, so it's best not to get lost. A young man with brown hair stands under a lantern, the light from which falls directly on him. The guy touched the lamp post with his hand and was very surprised that in such hot and humid weather this lantern retains a piece of coolness. There were trees around and the young man noticed that the smells of trees and humid air merged together. The young man was very familiar with this smell, but it was as if it could not be described. Everyone around says that this mysterious world is reality, and at first glance it seems so. Ten minutes ago, the classroom was very noisy, the students were chattering from all corners. One young man fell asleep on a chair, drooling in his sleep. Classmates cheerfully woke him up. The brunette started up and woke up abruptly. One of the classmates said that despite how relaxed Zio Chi Chi is, it looks like he has already found a way to pass some kind of test. And don't forget to cover him up as soon as he gets in there, because he's counting on him very much. Another classmate, a rather cheeky young guy with overgrown purple locks, doubted that Zio Chi Chi would save him. After all, in the secret world, you can't rely on just a pretty face. The guy from the other desk told him that if he was jealous, then just let him say so. Suddenly, the headman entered the classroom and everyone quickly fell silent. It was a girl in a green suit. Meanwhile, the main character's name was Giant Chi and he is a time traveler. Even if this world is practically no different from the world in which he lived before. But the difference is that there is not only the real world here. The most important thing here is the existence of a secret world. Meanwhile, the smiling head stood by the blackboard, adjusted her glasses and asked the class to be quiet for a while because she had a small but rather important announcement for them. She recently heard that the difficulty is not too high this time, so they have absolutely no reason to be nervous. The young men were very happy about this. Well, if the teacher says so, the young man from the middle desk doubtfully noticed that they had been told the same thing last time. The girl who sat at the same desk with him tensely said that she would leave as soon as her chances of resurrection ended. Someone asked her, and how does such a coward even have thoughts of going to university? She quietly replied that in any case, she still had a few attempts left. It is said that since the first appearance of the mysterious world, it appears every now and then in different places, forcing people into themselves. And that is why humanity has decided to share this world with the real one. In this world, secrets are evil creatures with their own consciousness. Such a secret of SSS rank may well destroy an entire famine. Once upon a time, a very long time ago, a man signed a contract in the secret world and brought into this world a neglected object called the Stone of Cunning, and thus people got a chance to avoid sudden entanglements in the secret world. Now, instead, they can voluntarily enter it with the possibility of resurrection. The government has established that every resident, upon reaching adulthood, must accept the challenge of the secret world. The headman clenched her fist belligerently and wished the students good luck. She will look forward to their safe return and they shouldn't forget that they have to come out as soon as the number of resurrections reaches zero. Today is the day when Giant Chi will enter this mysterious world for the first time. The headman started the countdown while the students concentrated. Soon, when she finished, she pressed a button on a special device that moves the player to another world. The trial of the secret world begins. And so, Chi found himself on the other side of the secret world. There was a sign in front of the guy with information about the character. Name, Giant Chi. Level, 0. Secret power, 50. Secret power, missing. Number of resurrections, 1. The young man was surprised by such a small number of resurrections. Usually, there are 10 of them at the initial stage. And he only has one. But maybe this is a special boost for handsome men. Chi grinned at his own thought. Then he looked around and in the night light saw a huge white building that looked like a hospital. It seems that this was the place where the test takes place. The what other half hour? He can get there in less than 10 minutes. The Huanquin Hospital had a rather familiar name. And therefore, the young man is looking forward to when he can be inside. Suddenly, a strange voice appeared behind him. Someone greeted him, which significantly scared the guy. A hand was placed on his shoulder and Chi wondered with annoyance why he had encountered the mystery right at the very beginning of the test. Then, a blonde in a mask came out of the shadows and asked the guy she called handsome if she was beautiful. She became nervous, sweat began to run off his face. Meanwhile, the girl took off her mask and showed her mutilated mouth, then asked again if she was beautiful. Then a very strange, bloody and huge pair of scissors appeared in her hands. She realized that it was cute to say Kana. She decided to pull himself together and ordered himself to calm down. He remembered that they had dealt with this mystery in class, 
so he needed to think carefully about what to do in such cases. But since the guy was a two-biter, he didn't remember anything, which made him even more nervous. The girl got as close to him as possible and asked the same question. She put open scissors to his throat, but she suddenly just started talking some nonsense and imperceptibly rushed to the side, followed by shouting goodbye. While he was running, also joyful, he shouted to the monster that he had run a hundred meters in 10.28 seconds, so she certainly could not catch up with him. But suddenly this mystery caught up with him, which the young man certainly did not expect. Was she able to run that fast? The blonde said that since he said she was beautiful, she intended to make him as beautiful as she was. She asked her what she was mumbling in her Japanese, because he didn't understand anything. The girl asked her only question again. She raised her huge red scissors over him again, but the young man held out his palm and asked her to be a little slower. Then he quickly did a triple backflip and asked if she didn't feel sorry for him. Mystery looked at the guy and thought maybe he was some kind of sick. But then she got angry again and rushed after the guy with her scissors to the ready. He didn't understand what she wanted from him, because he didn't know anything in Japanese. He just wanted her to stop following him. They stood facing each other like a hungry predator and prey. She was really very nervous and was already tired of running away from her. How does she manage to move so fast on her huge heels? She kept repeating the same thing, like some kind of tutor in class. Meanwhile, the blonde realized that this kid is quite cunning because he intentionally does not answer her question. Then let him suffer a little. To improve performance indicators, you can also move away from the regulations a little. She threw her scissors right at the guy, and he wondered if this was what was said in the beginning. Soon, a black cloud appeared with a warning that a hidden threat had been detected, and therefore the system was activated. The scissors stuck into this cloud, preventing the guy from harming. The blonde did not understand what had just happened and why. How was this guy able to block her attack? The guy received a system hint, deception stained the monster's hands with blood, and ugliness and loneliness force her to take revenge. All she craves is a little bit of love and a little bit of warmth. She did not expect that there were clues of this format in this world, and it was to his advantage. Let this blonde beware of him. Then he suddenly called her an ugly monster and said that today he would put an end to her. She did not expect this. Meanwhile, the hint disappears after the guy has read it. He did not expect this and was very surprised that everything was gone. Then the brunette began to rummage through his pockets in search of a dragon killing blade, and a sacred bone, and even a sword. Where did all this go? Couldn't he have given him a hint? Is the system really serious? Her attack was blocked only thanks to the system interface. The girl asked how dare he tease her. More than anything, she hates men who behave like that. She realized that he had screwed up badly, because the mystery of his actions had only screwed up even more. Now she will definitely devour him with all his insides. It was very scary for the young man to be in this place, alone with a monster. It's just not easy for him to stay calm. Meanwhile, the girl said that she had already asked him if she was beautiful. She just looked brutal. Her torn mouth looked quite terrifying in a grimace of rage. However, in the next moment, giant Chi caught the girl by the waist and her cheeks even turned pink from embarrassment. What is this kid doing? He didn't really remember what his teacher had told him, but his bowler was still working well. The system gave him a little hint and hinted to the guy what he should do. And the answer should be that this girl craves only a drop of love and warmth in her direction. The young man hopes very much that he understood and calculated everything correctly. He can only rely on the system in this case. He made the sweetest face he could and told this little girl, who was in his arms, to listen carefully to him. He began to fill her in that he believes that true love meets them only once, and people don't really appreciate it until they lose it. And if the universe had given him at least one more tiny chance, then. The girl suddenly stood up and sternly ordered him to stop talking. The guy was scared at first, and then asked doubtfully if she didn't believe him. However, the next minute she just pulled the guy to her and kissed him with gusto. Then the guy pulled away with a deep sigh. The girl suddenly called him a bastard and grabbed her snow white head. Meanwhile, the guy realized that in addition to the taste of blood in his mouth, he felt some kind of strange sweet aftertaste. The girl said that her name was Xiao Lei and she would certainly take revenge on him and he would pay for everything he had done in full. And then she ran away. She just looked after her and then broke into a smile, because Kutisake Anna's kiss turned out to be too pleasant for him. Later, the guy received a new notification from the system congratulating him on completing a hidden mission. He earned rewards, forbidden F-level items and bloody scissors. The young man did not think that he would be able to get a forbidden item at the very beginning, even though it is an item of the lowest level. However, even such items can be sold for about 100,000 points. It's a pity that he is tied up. 
In the description of the purchased hair it was written that they are suitable not only for cutting hair, and were of a forbidden level. The young man grinned and told himself that he harbored the aura of the protagonist and he should not be afraid. After a while, the guy managed to get to the Yellow Spring Hospital and now his main task sounds like this. He has to take care of patients as a nurse and the time for the task is seven days. Then a new hint came from the system. A good relationship between the patient and the nurse will bring the player extra points. Angering patients is very dangerous. At nightfall, the player will be able to sleep peacefully, but should not open his eyes. Going inside the hospital, the young man asked with a loud echo if there was anyone inside. A nurse came out in a rather revealing outfit. She realized that they had a new arrival and checked his name on her card. She also read that he is responsible for four patients and has to come back here at night to receive his payment. And by the way, the patient in room 401 needs special care, so the guy has to start from there first. When the girl, having given all the instructions, turned around and left, she asked if anyone else had arrived besides himself. The girl replied that he would find out during the work itself. Although one person died a little earlier, even though he was garbage. And it was quite delicious. Since the brunette had her back to him, she did not notice how she licked her lips. He wondered who could have died in the beginning. According to the nurse, that man was eaten. But what about his resurrection? Looking around the area, the young man did not see anyone. Stopping at the reception desk, he wondered if there shouldn't be a nurse on duty here. As a result, he decided to investigate everything himself and realized that there were only eight rooms on this floor and four of them were occupied by patients. It was good news for him less work. After all, this is an E-level mission. If you think about it, it shouldn't be too complicated. And Chi thought that to begin with, as his sister had said, he would go to room 401. A little later, the guy was already standing near the door to room 401, and it was covered in bloody palm prints. The young man tried to calm himself down and convince himself that not everything is as bad as it really is. Then he got a system hint, there are very noisy patients in this room and when he opens the door and goes inside, a human head will fly at the guy. And even if this attack is fatal, it is dangerous for him to lose respect in the eyes of patients. She laughed at the fact that it turned out to be a truly mysterious world. Can they really smash someone's head in just for fun? How interesting it all is. She kicked open the door to the ward and a severed head with black hair immediately flew into it. However, the young man was mercilessly able to kill her with the bloody scissors that he had left from the blonde. A little further away, in the ward, there was a girl without a head, and even further away, against the wall, there were several hospital beds in a row with patients. All of them watched with wide open eyes, not daring to move. Brushing off his hands, she wondered who would think of calling these patients noisy, because they didn't make a sound. The pink-haired girl clutched her bear tighter, and did not understand what was wrong with this guy. The girl was just joking, and he took and stuck scissors in her head. Another guy noticed that the newcomer had an unusual strength. Yes, and these scissors. Meanwhile, she greeted them and said that he was their new nurse. The head nurse told him that someone needed special care here. So the guy asked this patient to stand up. A head somewhere below whispered that she needed special care. The guy bent down, apologized and said that he would immediately pull the scissors out of her head. The notification from the system came again, and there the headless girl's thoughts said that as soon as he talked to her, she would immediately devour him alive. Meanwhile, the real head kept asking for help and didn't understand why the guy was frozen in place. She, despite all requests for help, stuck the scissors deeper and mercilessly began to beat them in the head. All the other patients in the ward just looked at it with shock. The guy with the idea apologized with a grin. He didn't think that her head would be so fragile. The system praised the young man for his good work. Now all these patients will be afraid of him and will not contradict him. Throwing the scissors over his shoulder, she casually asked who else in this ward needed special care. The patients immediately started shouting that no one needed anything. Turning to the body that had been left without a head, he asked what she wanted. After all, if anything, he can put her head back in place. The girl in the white skirt protested and said she would do everything herself. Suddenly, a voice rang out from the speakers that were suspended in the corners of the ward. The fact was that a nurse was urgently needed in room 402. The brunette thought it might be an extra job. Most likely, after completing the task of the head nurse, he will immediately be able to go to his home. There was no clue from the system this time and it seemed that everything should go pretty smoothly. When he entered the room, he greeted and asked who needed a nurse here. Suddenly, a scary girl in a bloody robe rushed at him. She did not understand what had happened here. The girl was shouting some incomprehensible words, and the guy who was hanging from the ceiling translated to him that this girl was saying that the baby was scared and therefore asked him to calm him down. 
When he heard about the baby, Chi was surprised. Then the guy in pajamas, who was still hanging upside down, pointed at the baby that was lying on the cot. The nurse asked if they couldn't handle the baby on their own. Then the man turned his head to him and asked why he was here then. Chi replied that it was a pretty logical question, but he wanted to see what would happen if he didn't do what he was asked to do. He's not the grandmother for this child. The guy received a system alert. If patients eat medical staff who do not perform their duties, the head nurse will not do anything to them. As a result, having listened to the advice, Chi approached the child, took his hand and began to calm him down. He even promised to tell a fairy tale. He didn't understand why everyone here likes to eat people so much. The kid suddenly started talking in an adult language and just agreed to stop screaming. However, he warned the guy that if he didn't like the fairy tale, he would definitely eat it. Looking at the new nurse, the child did not understand why he was so calm. Then the brunette agreed to tell him a good story and began to talk about the fact that four babies with antennae on their heads lived a long time ago. The system warned that this was a bad fairy tale, and the child had already opened his big mouth to have a delicious dinner of human flesh. After all, he is hungry and cannot fall asleep normally. However, Chi took it and just shoved the bloody scissors right into his mouth. Didn't his mother teach him not to interrupt those who tell fairy tales? A little later, the lobby of the hospital was full of people. They were all talking loudly among themselves, discussing what had happened. Wang Wai was eaten by his patient. The other girl's patient had only half of her body. There are still seven days of testing left, and it seems that not everyone is ready to handle it. Chi stood in the middle of his classmates and said with a grin that he was forced to tell a fairy tale. Suddenly, the head nurse appeared and everyone turned at the click of her heels. One guy wanted to drive up, but she killed him quickly, with just one wave of her hand. Everyone was shocked and impressed by what they saw. The nurse began to list what had happened since all these students showed up here. Unfinished assignments, multiple complaints from patients. They were all useless creatures. Later, she distributed salary envelopes to everyone, which were based on their achievements. There are vending machines on each floor where they can buy food and drinks with their points. Well, now they should all go to sleep in the waiting rooms on their floors. Then, when the girl was almost gone, she called the janitor to follow her, because his bedroom is in the basement. She warned everyone one last time that they should sleep at night and not open their eyes. Whatever happens, otherwise, they will answer for their own lives. Arriving at the vending machine, she took a bottle of water and food. They all received 100 coins and 30 of them went to water and food. It's quite expensive. Then, looking at the contents of the vending machine, the young man noticed a flashlight among the food. But then he abandoned the idea of buying it, because he needed to go to bed as soon as possible. Tomorrow's gathering is scheduled for 6.30 a.m. A little later, Chi found himself in front of the entrance to the heavenly prison. He couldn't remember how many times this month he had dreamed of this strange and gloomy place. Approaching the huge grate, he tried to lift it up to enter inside, and was surprised to realize that he seemed to be able to lift it. However, this did not happen and he remained outside. They give him dreams about this place, but they don't let him inside. But the young man decided to just give up on it and went to sleep right on the ground. He dreamed that he was sleeping in bed, and a monster was flying over him. But the morning came quickly and already at 6.30 there was a general gathering. The students discussed with horror that something terrible had scratched at their wall last night. One guy actually said that his dead grandmother appeared by his bed and she grumbled all night. The only one she didn't hear anything because he was sleeping very soundly. He asked his comrades if they felt that there were much fewer of them. Suddenly, Jiang Chi was called by his classmate, a pretty blonde. She asked if he could lend her 50 coins. The girl looked at the brunette and realized that he seemed to be the only one who had slept well, because he looked quite cheerful. Everyone else had some kind of incomprehensible devilry going on at night. Maybe he found some treasure. The girl took his hand and said that yesterday she received only 5 coins and etched them on the water, so now she is terribly hungry. Jiang Chi looked at Lai Zio Zio. Is she really asking him for money? The girl asked again if he would lend her some money and promised in return to do everything for him that he would ask. Noticing that the head nurse was already approaching them, the young man said that they would talk a little later, and he himself thought that in seven working days, at best, they can earn 700 coins each, and he is sure that the same flashlight from the vending machine is worth 500 coins for a reason. However, he still does not have enough money to buy it. Meanwhile, the head nurse said that they had five losers. Why didn't she make herself clear? They should never open their eyes after nightfall. But this is already a past stage and you need to forget about it. Now they all have to keep working. 
As soon as they receive the task, they must immediately begin to complete it. Soon, Jiang Qi was standing in front of room 403 because he needed to take medicine to a patient. He remembered the words of the girl without a head from Ward 401, who said that in 403 there were those patients who ate their medical staff, although they also ate them, but it's quite a bit. Other patients said they had never seen room 403. It seems that someone there bit off the hand of his nurse and let at least this time something will remain. A warning came from the system. Even a dog would not drink this medicine. It would be a completely different matter if there was blood in it, or at least coffee. And with broken glass it would become even better. So, following the advice from the system, Jiang Qi brought the medicine in a mug with coffee and glass chips. Judging by the reaction of patients from 402 and 401 wards, patients from 403 wards are not so simple. Therefore, you need to be very careful. When he went inside, he saw a business girl with red hair reading a newspaper. He said he brought what she ordered. But he was outraged that instant coffee costs 50 coins. So why didn't she buy it for herself? Putting a drink in front of the girl, he told her to enjoy it. It was still a good thing that he had enough money for all this, otherwise he would have had to sacrifice his blood. The girl picked up a mug and tasted it. This fragrance was simply magnificent and in a second she drank it all. Jiang Qi was very surprised by this. How could she drink that? How can it be so delicious? The girl said that she really liked everything and therefore gave him a lot of money so that he would bring her a cup of coffee every day. After seeing the money, she immediately agreed with everything. He was grateful for such a gift. It was a very generous gift from a rich girl. When the brunette found himself near the vending machine, he immediately took two french fries, a bottle of mineral water and a pack of cookies. And it's over the same flashlight for 500 coins. No matter how much it costs, you need to buy it first. The system congratulated the guy on getting a new item. And now the new quest sad cry of the bloody night has been unlocked. Suddenly, he heard Lai Zio Zio running towards him as fast as she could and asking for help. Because she's being chased by a monster. She would do anything for him to help her. But then the guy got up and hit the girl himself, so that she fell to the ground. She didn't understand why he was doing this to her, because they were classmates. But the brunette told her to stop pretending to be a fool. Thanks to his intelligence, he could easily figure out her trick. There should be a mole on Zio Zio's left breast. Therefore, next time he advises to be more professional. Apparently, this is a rank F secret. And this is a great moment to practice. It looked like a fight was inevitable. So now they're going to have a lot of fun. The mystery revealed its real face. But how did this guy figure out her disguise? In that case, she would let him become her prey. Jiang Qi immediately used his scissors, and the mystery immediately backfired. Has the monster never heard of villains who died of chatter? It seems best to get close to someone and strike before it's too late. If he keeps talking, his death will be very long. The monster asked to wait for this scoundrel, who, apparently, cheated. He crept up unnoticed. It was a real battle. At 6 p.m., as always, the head nurse came and handed out salary envelopes to everyone again. She even let Chi do a great job and then said that everyone was free. The boy's classmates were angry that he had received praise. Yes, and additional coins. He hadn't even read the instructions, so how was that even possible? Some guy named Lai Jia Hao, the class president, asked everyone to calm down because this is only the initial stage of the competition. It's already the second day, and he's lost most of his classmates. Therefore, as class president, he simply has to say this, most likely, if they do not work together, none of them will survive. Money, fame, power, all this is the future. If they want to change their lives, they should take advantage of this opportunity. Taking out his sword, the young man said that he had received it. Although it is not a forbidden item, it is still capable of harming secrets. Also, he is very worried about the very lantern that is sold in the vending machine. However, they will be able to buy it only by accumulating a certain amount. Therefore, the guy suggests coming up with a way to get rich as quickly as possible and earn a lot of coins to buy this lantern. Jiang Qi realized that the reason the president had planned all this was because he wanted to find out why the head nurse had allowed him. He also wants to get other players' coins. It's not a bad idea, but Qi is not interested in all this at all. Waving his hand to President A, he said he was leaving. He shouted that they could work together if he was suddenly in danger. He could find him on the seventh floor because he had a sword with which he could protect him. Chi shouted that he would definitely think about it again, but then he just left. Jiang Chi was sitting on his bunk and reviewing a new assignment. Since he bought a flashlight, the system gave him its characteristics. Light can illuminate darkness and banish shadows. An indispensable item for night walks. Now the guy realized that this task is connected with a flashlight. 
The assignment literally tells him to leave the room in the middle of the night in search of clues, even though the head nurse told me not to open my eyes in the middle of the night. But now he has forbidden items and a system, so there's no point in staying here any longer. The results of the first mysterious trial are extremely important. If he can complete the main quest, he will get a guaranteed place, even despite his poor grades on the entrance exam. However, if he manages to complete a special task, then the best schools will want him and this will be another step on the way to the top. Of course, there is one more option for teamwork, but this is a mysterious world, and everyone here pursues their own interests, so this option does not suit him at all. After all, Lai Jia Hao was not a good person. Now the brunette decided to take a nap and see what would happen tonight. At 10 a.m., the young man quickly got up and exhaled with relief. He almost fell asleep soundly. However, when he woke up, he doubtfully realized that he was in the hospital room. He didn't understand what kind of place it was. Everything was old and dirty. Is this really the true look of the hospital? The brunette lit a flashlight to inspect everything around. He had a feeling that this time it would be much more dangerous than he had previously thought. Suddenly, he heard a strange sound outside the door and shone his light on it. Was there really someone there? Looking through the peephole, he saw a huge eye on the other side of the door which stared back at him. There was a quick knock on the door, asking to open it, and Chi even had to jump away from it. Is someone chasing him? This voice was very familiar. Could it be Liu Meng Wai? He's usually pretty quiet. The door was still being hammered with all its might, and they even screamed and called for help. After all, he is coming. Chi told himself that he couldn't open that door because he didn't know what was behind it. Besides, all players have a resurrection and if he hurries, he will only hurt himself. The man on the other side didn't understand why Chi didn't open up. He clearly hates him. Therefore, he went to the chart. After a while, everything went quiet and there was a pool of blood under the door. Jiang Chi realized that, apparently, the problem had been solved by itself. A voice in my head whispered and asked why Chi didn't help. However, this is not in his head at all, but very close. And how did he get there? The ghost started saying that they had been studying together for three years, so why should he die alone? One continuous scream, and soon only one hand was lying on the floor. Had he disappeared? It's good that Chi had this flashlight. After all, this ghost could have entered here directly, but he decided to knock on the door. He must have been some kind of boat in a previous life. A little later, a woman's scream rang out all over the area. The prompt from the system asked whose crying it was. The progressive level of the task was 10%. The high difficulty of completing a task means an increased reward for completing it. If he wants to increase the progress of this task, he must find this woman. Judging by the sound, she's not here. Jiang Chi has only 2 hours and 47 minutes left, so we need to hurry. The system is not responding in any way, so he can only sleep until tomorrow. The next day, when he found himself in the red-haired girl's room, he casually said that at night someone was interfering with his loud crying and screaming and so he decided to ask her if she knew who it might be. The girl suddenly turned her head to him and advised him not to get involved in this case, otherwise the head nurse would kill him. Therefore, he does not need to get involved in this matter. When Chi left her room, he thought that, apparently, it had something to do with the head nurse. It seems that this patient is very afraid of her. Chi needs to finish today's task of the head nurse and go in search of clues. It seems that he needs to find a patient from room 404 on the 8th floor, from somewhere behind. The guy was called by name and he did not hesitate to take out his scissors. But then he saw that it was his classmate Afu. What happened that he approached him? Afu awkwardly scratched his head and asked if Chi was going to go to the 8th floor. Earlier, he worked with Seo Jun and they were in charge of the patients on the 8th floor. However, when he went out to relieve himself, he just disappeared. After the resurrection, he immediately told him that there was a secret in the toilet that asked him which piece of paper he wanted, red, white or yellow, and he chose the white one. She still didn't understand what the guy meant. He folded his hands and said that he knew that he would not work with him, but he still strongly hoped that Chi would be able to fulfill one of his requests. Chi smiled and said he believed him and would do his best. A little later, the guy ended up in the toilet. The clue asked him, did he come there to relieve himself? The guy realized that this system had watched too many TV shows. A hand with three leaves of different colors suddenly appeared under the door of the stall. When they were about to ask him which piece of paper he would choose, Chi suddenly jumped to his feet and furiously finished the question. Tyra realized with annoyance that this was his phrase. Then Chi took a pair of scissors and began to torture the secret so that he could restore Zio Jun's life. It was not enough for him to sit in the toilet, and he decided to eat people there. The mystery began to say that it had nothing to do with it, and that he would pay for everything. 
She asked if this ghost knew how much cremation costs nowadays and how much money is spent on the banquet. Mystery held out a hand full of money and said that this is all he has. She took the money for himself and Tana said that someone was lucky to have such a good friend. She asked if he was talking about Zio. He doesn't really know him. The mystery did not expect this. Then the guy asked where the patient from Ward 404 was now. Kana replied that he was in the women's bathroom opposite. And this is the truth. Jiang Qi's new assignment is to find a patient in Ward 404. The system suggested that being a qualified man, what's wrong with alcohol addiction? At such a time, only alcohol can keep him company. Approaching one booth, the young man saw a man who called him a little devil and asked him not to interfere with his reading. She suddenly offered him an alcoholic drink. After a while, Jiang Qi and this man were in room 404. It was a real mess. The guy watched the man drink and suddenly asked if he knew whose crying was heard in the hospital in the middle of the night. Because of this noise, he couldn't sleep at all. Alcohol with antibiotics. Yes, this man is completely abnormal. The bottle that he gave him was worth as much as 50 coins. The man asked why he was asking. The guy awkwardly replied that he was just interested. And on top of everything else, he had a couple more bottles lying around. The man scratched his bald head with a huge scar and warned the guy not to say later that he had not been warned. If the guy continues to dig into this case, the head nurse will certainly kill him. But if he is really interested in all this, then he should go upstairs and see for himself. Going up to the roof, the brunette asked if there was anyone there. No matter how you look at it, it's still an ordinary hospital roof. Even the sky is red here. The guy wondered if this was the whole mysterious world, or just a small part of it. You can't see the road he came here from here at all, and he doesn't talk about other buildings at all. What is the mechanism of the secret world? But the young man remembered that now was not the time to think about such things. He came here to find some clues. If he can complete this task as soon as possible, then the journey to this world will end even faster. If he fails during the day, he will try to do it again at night. Strange sounds and rustles were heard from the side. But it was just a phone, and it was pretty cheap. The system congratulated the guy for finding a special item. Now the progress of the task was already 50%. It must be that this phone is a key item. How lucky he was to find it. The hint made it clear that an unknown secret was hiding in the shadows. If you pry into other people's secrets, they can start prying into you too. The young man did not understand what this meant. Then he felt an aura, a mystery above the F rank. And it was very bad. He can still handle mysteries of this rank, but not with those who are stronger. A senior nurse appeared behind him and asked the guy what he was doing here. She awkwardly cleared his throat, greeted him and said that he was just breathing fresh air. The girl asked if he was ignoring her assignments. The guy replied that he had already found a patient from room 404. But there is such an unpleasant smell in his room. And that's why he decided to go out on this roof to get some air. She realized that if she found out the truth, he would definitely not be able to defeat her. One can only hope that the nurse will believe him. The brunette blinked and said to get off the roof immediately. It was 6 o'clock in the evening. The students gathered in the hall as usual. The president stood with his back to those who were discussing him. If it wasn't for his sword, they would never have given him their money. He appropriated other people's coins. Someone even wanted to take them back. But because he has a sword, he had to immediately forget about it. Jiang Qi looked at his envelope and saw that he had only received 50 coins. Somewhere behind him, the president sarcastically said that it was still good that he had not teamed up with him. It seems that he was really just very lucky. She realized with annoyance that the president had indeed taken the coins from everyone else. And why didn't he think of that himself? Later, Jiang Qi sat on the bed and couldn't figure out why the phone he found wouldn't turn on. He remembered a hint, an unknown secret lurks in the shadows. Does this mean that this phone can only be used at night? It was already 7.30pm, and Chi was incredibly glad that the phone was working after so many attempts. There was only one video on the main screen, which was a bit surprising. The brunette clicked on it and saw himself there. It was a little scary, because when Chi ran a knife across his cheek on the phone, the real Chi bled in the same place. Is this Chi in the phone synchronized with him? The second Chi has even brought a knife to his throat, and the real one tried to stop him. He couldn't do anything and was completely desperate. The clue made it clear that the light of his flashlight could illuminate the darkness and banish shadows. It is an indispensable item for night walks. And so, Chi had a new idea. He turned on the flashlight and shone it directly on the phone screen. The doppelganger immediately started screaming and asked to stop shining at him. The phone started smoking and the guy threw it away. It was so damn dangerous. It's a good thing that this flashlight is extremely effective against mysteries, otherwise it would have been dead a long time ago. 
It is indeed a key item that has increased the progressive level by 30%, but it is too dangerous. Then, Chi saw 27 seconds of video on the screen and thought it might be the original. Turning it on, the guy saw a girl being dragged to an unknown place. She tried to break away and asked to let go, but no one listened. She even hit her abuser, and he got angry at that, grabbed her by the hair with a hard hand and asked if she really wanted to drink that thing, even though they were so kind to her. This man was a real bastard, in her opinion. Then the same brunette appeared on the video, almost without clothes. She saw a mole near her mouth that seemed very familiar to him. Is this girl the head nurse in her youth? Now it was necessary to find out who the man in the video was. After watching the video to the end, Chi did not understand why the progress of the task did not increase. Maybe he's missing something very important. The young man began to scroll through the video frame by frame and at the 17th second found 1401 Ward. He needed to find clues for a special task and now his progress was 60%. He's getting closer and closer to the solution. And it couldn't help but be gratifying. The next step was to find a room. Jiang Chi barely made it to the 14th floor, during which time he was exhausted and sweating all over. He wanted to take the elevator, but the system said it was dangerous. So, room 1401 should be somewhere on this floor. Pushing the door to the floor, the young man heard the sound of heels. He hid so that he could not be seen, but he saw that the head nurse was on the floor in her red shoes. However, later, after looking at the girl a little better, he realized that it was just an ordinary nurse. Her robe was covered in blood, and she was holding a knife in her hands. She walked very strangely, like she was a zombie. Fortunately for the guy, he was not noticed and he was able to calmly exhale. However, when he was suddenly called, he asked himself the question, was there another nurse here? A little secret suddenly stuck to his feet and asked him to play. She had a lot of eyes and looked like a little imp. She shone a flashlight on his face and the mystery disappeared. What was that? He almost pissed himself. A nurse found him immediately. She was standing behind him, which was pretty creepy. He quickly pointed the flashlight at her and she immediately fell to the floor, not from the light, but to crawl up. Why doesn't the flashlight work for her? She took off and couldn't understand why they were all so fond of chasing people. The girl threw her knife at him, but the guy was able to dodge. He could only take a chance. She took the flashlight in his teeth and climbed up to the roof. The nurse couldn't get out after him, as if there was some kind of barrier, and the guy was very praising his own intuition. When a person gets into such a situation, he reflexively starts running away. However, given the speed of the nurse, she will certainly catch everyone. The young man guessed that the clue to that scream was fear. Those patients were afraid to cry and this affected the medical staff. The source of the crying was on this roof, which means that. A little girl with white hair came up to the guy. She whimpered and wiped her tears with her hands. Through her crying, she asked who he was. The system seemed to read her mind, is everyone afraid of her? She also wants to eat sweets, play and chat with friends. Did Zio make some kind of mistake? But she didn't do anything like that. She noticed that she was standing barefoot on the cold roof. He decided to approach her and stroked her small head and also said that she had a very beautiful name. Then he said that he had come to the roof to play with her. A little later, they were playing on the 14th floor and the guy bought her a bunch of sweets. She was incredibly pleased with the gifts. The brunette knelt down on one knee and asked Zio Zio if she would keep her older brother company. The girl replied that she would do anything for him. The young man looked at her and realized that she was a very kind and sweet girl. It's a pity that he doesn't know where her mom is right now, and she doesn't even have shoes. Then they walked down a dark corridor. The guy was holding her hand, and with the other hand he was holding a lantern that illuminated their path. As long as this girl was with him, the nurse wouldn't show up, and that was a little comforting. Now he needed to find 1041 rooms and find out what had happened there in the end. She quietly opened the door while Zio Zio clung to his leg. She asked what happened, but the young man covered her eyes with his hand and told her not to look. Looking around, Chi did not understand how something so dirty could happen in this room. There was real mayhem and horror in the ward. A man in a white coat was hanging on a cross, he was wheezing and barely breathing, and in front of him stood a nurse whom he had previously met in the corridor. Meanwhile, the man kept repeating that he was really sorry, but the girl was just cutting his throat. She wondered, isn't this ward 1401? Is that even possible? Zio Zio still stood with her eyes closed and asked what was going on. There were huge pools of blood on the floor, and this man's skin was skinned like some kind of duck. She started to feel sick and there was no way Zio Zio could see it all. The man turned his head in his direction and asked for help. But at the moment the nurse mercilessly cut off his tongue. The guy thought, is he really dead? But no, he was still begging to let him go. He was in unbearable pain. 
but it was strange, because now he couldn't speak. And then Chi suddenly realized that the whole scene had started all over again. How was this even possible? It seemed like it lasted for hours. It was already 4 a.m., but it didn't end in any way. Zio Zio suddenly felt unwell, and she asked her brother to leave this place. Chi agreed, and asked her not to open her eyes yet. When they were back on the roof, the girl asked if she could open her eyes already. She replied that he could, and held out a large multicolored lollipop. She was shocked that it was her, she really liked such gifts. Then she suddenly became sad and asked if he would come back to play with her. Jiang Chi patted her on the head and said he would definitely come. They will see each other again very soon. Later, a hint came from the system. The progress of the task was 70%. There is very little time left before the execution, and it couldn't help but be gratifying. In addition to the recommendation for admission to prestigious universities, those who completed a special task alone will receive a bonus of 1 million. Despite the fact that Chi was transported here from another world, his background and family remained the same as in his previous life. He must complete this task no matter what, Also, that in the future his sister could not deny herself anything. Walking down the stairs, Jiang Chi suddenly met the class president. Was Lai Jia Hao able to accumulate 500 coins too? It looks like he got a special assignment too. The classmate laughed and said that apparently they both got the same clue. Don't let him stand in his way. Chi walked by and advised the guy not to go there, even though he didn't care about his death. Zio Zio returned to the roof, so going to the 14th floor is akin to suicide. Why Jia Hao asked why he shouldn't go there. He was able to come back from there alive, even if he doesn't think that he can get the reward alone. He must also receive this award at all costs. It was 6.50 a.m. A girl was shouting at students who had given forced injections to patients. What idiots they are all. Another girl, hugging her friend, said that for a long time it seemed to her that something was wrong. It was her first time in the mysterious world, and shouldn't the difficulty of the tasks be limited by rank? But after all, the difficulty level of this task is, isn't this level of difficulty designed for the next class? Another guy agreed. In addition, 13 people were killed. And these 13 people died after Yi King Al signed a contract with the spirit. Each of them had their own spirit, but she was the only one who could survive. The guy with the long hair said he had had enough and was tired of these games. Even though they still have resurrections, the pain here is quite real and he does not want these creatures to torture him to death. Then the guy pressed a button asking if he wanted to leave this world, and several more students followed him. She realized that, apparently, today's task had forced everyone out of the game. But then he saw Lai Jia Hao. How did he manage to get back from the 14th floor alive? It's really amazing. Wasn't there a hidden boss? Li approached his classmates and asked if they still had resurrection points. But everyone just looked at him awkwardly. She did not understand what kind of reaction it was. Had they all died already? The president, without turning to him, replied that he was dying. After they missed him on the 14th floor, the nurse immediately killed him. The blonde who was standing on the sidelines replied that yesterday, when she was cleaning, the ceiling fell on her. And the guy said he was pinned down by a closet. She exploded and menacingly asked what they were doing here then. They don't have any resurrection points left. And if they die again, they will die in the real world. The girl hesitated and replied that if they manage to complete a special task, they will have a chance to get into a prestigious university. Moreover, after being framed by these secrets, her fighting spirit became even stronger, and she won't give up so easily. Either King Dao University or King Ming University, they have to complete today's task, and she will show them how strong she is. Jiang Qi returned to the drunkard from Ward 404 and injected him in a soft spot. They were finally done with it, although it wasn't that hard. What good patience. Meanwhile, the man was delirious. He called his beloved and invited her to drink. The guy was wondering how the rest of the patients were doing. When he left the room and entered the corridor, Lai Jia Hao was waiting for him there. She, taking a jar of frosting from the vending machine, asked the opponent if he really wanted to get help with the task or any hints from him. But he will refuse to help him because he has nothing to risk his life for him. Sometimes he is kind, sometimes he is evil, and his behavior sometimes scares Chi. Lei suddenly bowed low and asked Chi for forgiveness for what happened before. He simply has no other choice, because a special task is very important to him. Chi did not expect this at all. He asked what business it was of his, and besides, the president had nothing to apologize to him for, because he did not give him his coins. Li seemed to have already resigned himself, and apologized for disturbing him. And then, when he passed by, he said that he had received a patient who was familiar with the head nurse. And that patient told him that she was in charge of Ward 1401. 
That's why he decided to go there. But he didn't think that he would have to lose the chance of resurrection. Also, that patient advised him to go to the head nurse's room. But apparently he didn't have any chance of doing that anymore. After hearing all this, Jiang Qi abruptly turned back and hugged the president with one arm. Asked to repeat what he had just said, Li could not believe that he had changed his mind so quickly. She grinned and slyly said that they were classmates with him, so he couldn't leave a friend in trouble. Yesterday, he even avenged Xiao Jun, and if Oi doesn't believe him, then let him ask off Fu. At that time, in one of the wards, a fat patient was sitting and watching a cartoon while eating junk food. He has so polluted his room that, apparently, he will have to ask the head nurse to change his bed again. Suddenly, the door in his room is knocked out and several patients from other wards are standing behind it. They are led by an alcoholic with a huge makeup over his shoulder. They all looked like some kind of superhero rescue team. The fat man was not expecting guests and could not understand what was going on. The old man pointed a huge syringe at him and asked if he was mocking his little brother. And they all immediately pounced on this fat man. He asked them to get out of his room and let them go. Don't touch it. He was even ready to give himself an injection on his own. Lai Jia Hao and Jiang Qi watched all this from the side. These were E-rank mysteries, after all. The class president realized that Qi could really control them. Qi whispered in his ear what about the head nurse's room. A little later, the brunette was already standing alone near the elevator and waiting for him. According to Lai Jia Hao, the head nurse usually rests on the fourth floor, and this is the only elevator that goes there. When the elevator arrived, the young man went inside. There was a pink-haired girl standing there. She asked the guy if he was heading to the morgue. She replied to her that it was. The girl hesitated, because something was wrong. It looks like the guy took the wrong medicine. Even she is afraid of those ghosts, despite the fact that she is not human herself. The girl suddenly began to tell me that they say that this hospital has existed for several hundred years. In addition to treating patients, this hospital sends dead bodies to the morgue. There are corpses stored there that have not been identified. Perhaps that's why it's so quiet there. These corpses often disappear when they go outside to play. She was surprised that corpses could come out and play. And it was very strange, the girl also agreed. She added that to distinguish them, the head nurse hangs a red plaque on their arm. And the exact same sign is hanging on her arm. The girl suddenly bared her teeth viciously and raised her hand up so that the guy could see a red sign on it. But then she suddenly realized that it was not on her hand and became even more angry. She held the one with the number 117 in his hand. He asked if that was what she was looking for. The girl did not understand when he managed to steal it. Later, the elevator doors opened and they found themselves on the minus floor. It was very bad. The girl began frantically pressing buttons and telling the young man to close the doors as soon as possible. He didn't understand why she was suddenly so nervous. The pink-haired one kept poking and poking at the button and getting angry because this door was always jamming. I should have fixed it a long time ago. A silhouette appeared in the hallway. It was a zombie with a scary face and brains on its head. The girl, apparently, was afraid of him. Then he suddenly took off quickly and ran towards the open elevator. The girl kept trying to close the doors, but nothing came out. She kept screaming that this zombie was nearby, very close. It was obvious that she was scared to death of him. But then, as if hearing her pleas, the doors began to close and she was glad that they had finally been saved. However, Jiang Fi stopped the doors and asked the girl what she was doing. Didn't she see that this monster also wanted to take the elevator? What would she feel if someone was late for an important meeting because the elevator had left? She turned in his direction and saw that the zombie was just standing near the elevator. The girl frowned and thought, isn't he a ghost? Why all this talk about conscience? What's wrong with this guy? Soon they were all three standing in the elevator. They rode in silence for a while. And then Jiang Qi turned to the newcomer and asked if he was washing his hair at all. The latter only remained silent in response. Meanwhile, the elevator was already on the second floor. When the doors opened, they saw a girl who had fallen from a wheelchair and asked to be let into this elevator. Then, when they were all driving together, Chi asked her how she took a bath if she was in a wheelchair. On the fourth floor, the guy got out of the elevator and helped a nice old lady walk to him, who thanked him for his help. Isn't this boy afraid of her? It was just wonderful. After all, brave bodies were the best. Grandma really appreciates his kindness. The zombie wondered why this grandma was so worried. Her jaw suddenly flew out of her mouth and she managed to catch it. He asked where she had bought it. Is there really a dental clinic in the secret world? The pink-haired woman couldn't stand it and shouted strongly that she was tired and had had enough. She's going to eat that stupid guy right now. She was about to rush at him, but the zombie stopped her. He was listening to this guy's nonsense all the time, so could she leave it to him? 
The girl in the wheelchair asked what kind of nonsense they were all talking here. He's hers. Do they even know what modesty is? Damn ghosts. Grandma immediately hit her for saying that. How dare she say that? Even when there's an elderly man in front of her. This granddaughter will definitely get to her. Meanwhile, the elevator has already arrived on the fourth floor. The zombie was firmly convinced that he would get out of the elevator first, and the fight started again. However, while they were figuring out their problems, they did not notice at all that the boy was missing. Jiang Chi just took off under cover and that's it. In fact, the system gave him a clue when he explored Ward 1401. Secrets are creatures that only care about themselves. They would never give their loot to someone else. If there are more wolves than meat, then these wolves start fighting with each other. He was ready for battle, but all these secrets seemed rather stupid to him. Meanwhile, she had already reached the morgue. Corpses lay everywhere, covered with a white sheet. It was also very quiet here, not a single sound. No disdainful glances and no harsh voices. Chi did not expect to see corpses here. Suddenly, the young man noticed that some of these corpses were his classmates. Passing by the cupboards, he saw a notebook. There was a photo of the head nurse and the date. Apparently, it was her old personal dweeb. The girl wrote on August 25th of some year that this was her first practice. And she finally managed to fulfill her dream. Even though the job is quite difficult, she is still very happy. The girl really wants to become a doctor, just like her teacher. He wants to help a huge number of people. The next entry was from September 12th. There, in the photo, she was with a little boy. She wrote that a boy named King was admitted to the inpatient department that day. He's very cute, from a small island. She gave him an injection and he didn't even cry. Looking at him, the girl remembered herself as a child. The system made it clear that the progress of the task was already 90%. This means that Jiang Chi is already very close to the solution. Entry from March 28th. There was a male nurse in the photo, but his face was crossed out with a red pen, and quite violently. The girl wrote that teacher and Go Tian praised her. He said that she grasps everything on the fly and the man really hopes that she will take his place in the future. The girl was very happy, because her teacher is whom she admires with all her heart, and she wouldn't let him down for the world. After this recording, some scribbles and notes in an incomprehensible handwriting began to appear. The girl wrote short sentences. In one of them, she asked it was unclear to whom. Why was the teacher doing this to her? She looked up to him, didn't she? She was so scared. Why didn't anyone come to her rescue? The teacher turned out to be a terrible, dirty and disgusting person. Why is everyone looking at her like that? The girl constantly hears their voices and whispers. It's not her fault. These people don't know anything. The brunette just wanted everyone to know that she was a victim here and that she was scared. The last sentence was that she would definitely take revenge and kill everyone who bullet her. She really didn't think there was such a drama behind this assignment. The progress of the task was 99%. Is this really what the system intended? However, the next second the system screamed that this secret task was changing to a nightmarish mode. At nightfall, a 50-year-old murderer will appear. The light students gathered and listened intently. It seems that the beds are a real killer round. Meanwhile, Jiang Chi laughed. He couldn't believe that the murderous round, which happened once in a hundred years, got caught just when he came to this world. It was just some kind of mockery of him. Even though the nightmare mode has an increased number of deaths, the rewards for participating in it are different from the normal mode. And now the system said that the special task had changed and was now called Last Survivor. Chi swore, did this thing have consciousness? He was almost crying from finishing the last task to 99%, and then it changed. It was the height of injustice. The head nurse came into the morgue and asked what he was doing here. It seems that Chi was caught looking at someone else's property. There is no time to explain. He urgently needs to run. When Chi almost ran away, he saw that the head nurse did not run after him. Why didn't she stop him? When the young man returned by elevator to the first floor, he was immediately almost knocked down by his classmates, who asked in unison if he was okay. She didn't understand what they were doing in this place and why they hadn't returned home yet. The blonde said that the monitors showed that he had gone to the morgue. They were very worried about him. What should they do now? Jiang Chi replied that he had met the head nurse downstairs, but she did not attack him, and he doesn't know why. However, the nightmare mode is not a joke at all especially for those who have no resurrections left. Therefore, he suggests that everyone else stop immediately. But the classmates were stubborn and kept saying that if they could complete this task, the reward would be many times greater. Alfred looked at the president of Lee's class and asked him if he was completely crazy. After all, for beginners like them, a nightmarish regime is akin to 100% suicide. Doesn't he really want to die here? Lai Jia Hao looked down at the floor and said that of course he didn't want to die. 
he just doesn't have any other choice. Since he took all their coins, when he gets back, he will have to compensate them. Alfred said that even despite the fighting spirit of the president, his life is most important to him, and therefore he will come out first, so as not to disturb anyone. Alfred wished she luck and disappeared. She did not understand if they were serious about all this. The proverbs say that life is given only once, and if they die now, there will definitely not be a second chance. The blonde and the president suddenly fell to their knees and began hugging cheese legs. They looked at him with the eyes of beaten puppies and in the end the guy gave up. But first he decided to tell them something. If they do die, then it's not his fault. Meanwhile, at the morgue, the head nurse was very glad that the nightmarish regime had finally arrived. She has been waiting for him very much and for a long time. After all, this is her favorite mode. A notification came from the system. The killer will come for the participants at 12 at night. Time passed, the corridors were empty. Jiang Chi, Lai Jia Hao and the blonde got together and waited until midnight. Li told them not to worry, because together they should have a chance. Suddenly, the head nurse knocked on their room and demanded to open the door, because everyone should be in their rooms at night. And even spending the night together is strictly prohibited. No one opened it and the nurse got angry. Strange bones popped out of her back and she became much scarier. And she burst into the room with a bang and smashed the door to smithereens. She had an intimidating laugh that was not comforting at all. Then she told the guys that it was time to start their game. Lee told his friends to run away from here and was the first to get up from his bunk, grabbing his sword in the hope that it would help him in battle. He was going to detain the nurse because she had made a huge hole in the wall, so now was the time to escape. The girl wanted to say something, but Lee replied that there was no time to think, they just had to leave him here and save themselves. They only have one chance. The blonde didn't want to leave him in any way, but she told her to follow him if she wanted to live. The girl asked what would become of the president if they left, and the next second she was deprived of her legs. Lee ran forward, leaving the girl behind. The president overtook even Jiang Chi, who could not believe that such a thing was possible. He turned around and saw that the girl was still there. How could he do this? She ordered Lai Zio to leave this world urgently so that she would not die. And the girl herself seemed to have forgotten about it. She had already started typing the right word on the sign, but did not have time because the head nurse killed her. Jiang Chi saw all this and didn't waste his seconds, so he took off. He felt sorry for the girl, but there was nothing he could do. He warned them. A couple of minutes later, the guy went up the stairs to another floor where Li was barely breathing. He turned to Chi and told him not to ask why he did this to Zio. After all, each of them only cares about themselves, and Chi himself is exactly the same. When he was in high school, his father was diagnosed with cancer, and his mother, soon after that, ran away with another man. His grandfather, who loved him with all his heart, was so angry that he died on the spot. However, even after selling his property and borrowing money from all his acquaintances, this amount is still not enough. It's a damn deadly disease. His father is still in the hospital and Lee can't just sit and watch him die. He really wants to save him. And this test is his only chance in order to save his father. He is ready to put his life on the line. Jiang Chi said he didn't have to explain anything to him. And he asked me to stop pretending that he had the hardest life in the world. Did he even know that Zio wanted to invite them to her house for dinner if they could come back alive? She told him about Lai's family. She remembered how Zio had told him that Lai was having quite a hard time. And therefore, after passing this test, she would definitely find a way to help him. After all, they are classmates. Jiang Chi turned around and headed up the stairs. Li was right that everyone thinks only of themselves. Each person makes their own choice and is faced with its results. But it has nothing to do with him. He only cares about himself. The guy went up to the roof of the building, where little Sayo Sayo was waiting for him. She turned around as soon as she heard his footsteps. She was so glad that he came to play with her again. But the brunette patted her on the head and apologized for the fact that this time they would not be able to play. He had to tell her something. Lee was surprised that there was even a child here. A second later, a nurse came up to the roof and all three turned in her direction. She knew they'd all be here. This girl had a D rank. And there's no way in the world they're going to be able to beat her. Besides, the terms of this assignment say they can't kill the killer. That's why Chi should. Since they had nowhere to run anyway, could this nurse listen to his story first? And the guy began to talk about how a long time ago there lived a very smart girl. She was very kind, diligent and caring. More than anything, she wanted to become a nurse to help even more people. She put in a lot of effort and finally achieved her goal. Even though she was tired, she never got tired of this job and she managed to gain the trust of many people. Until one day, a terrible sight appeared before her eyes. Her teacher harassed her patient. 
Even though her mind was empty at that moment, she tried to stop him somehow. It was at this moment that her teacher revealed his true nature. He then raped both girls. In order to shut up his student, he offered to promote her to head nurse. It's a pity that her dream came true in this way. She wanted to share her truth with everyone, but no one believed her. People started spreading rumors that she had sold herself for this position. And the main character of this story is her, chief nurse son Zio Zio. She went on to say that after this incident, her colleagues started insulting her. But what was even worse was that patients who had previously trusted her began to distance themselves from her. The nurse viciously said that there was nothing good about them. That's why she killed them all. They deserved it all. So what if she became a sinner? All this rabble deserved to be chopped into pieces. When she said that she was right, the girl suddenly looked at him without anger. The guy was asked why she was looking at him like that. He's not a saint either. These people really deserve their punishment. But somewhere deep inside herself, she is still a good person. And this little girl is a direct proof of that. The head nurse of the hospital, the ghost nurse of the 14th floor, a little girl. Did she purposely separate all these three personalities? Initially, he thought that little Zio was the daughter of a nurse. But then he realized that the ghosts of this hospital were afraid of such a kind and innocent girl for a reason. She left all the goodness of her heart in this girl and surrendered so that she would stay on this roof forever. But what about her? Did she really want to continue living with this curse? The girl asked, even if he was right, so what? She pulled herself out of this mess and no one helped her. Therefore, she certainly does not need his sympathy and pity. It's time to end all this. Now everyone is going to hell. She said that even though he couldn't defeat her in any way, he still had a hostage. He certainly didn't want to say all this. But little Zio is connected to a nurse and if she does get hurt, it will affect her too. Suddenly, she turned his head back because he saw that Lai had pierced the poor little girl with a sword. He was consumed by the thirst for victory and now the prize is in his hands. Jiang Chi rushed to the girl. He didn't know what to do or how to help her. How could Lee do this? Lee was happy for you that he would get the prize exactly until his head flew off his shoulders. He was killed by a nurse. Stupid people, do they really think that all this can kill her? She is very tired of these games, so this is the end. She seemed to have already accepted his death, but then Zio Zio got in. She told the nurse not to kill this guy. She's right about everything. She's not a sinner and neither are they. Those people were indeed cursed, but that's long gone. The girl screamed that not all darkness needs light and not all sinners need redemption. The baby started crying and said she was talking about the wrong people. She's talking about them. They all paid the price and so did they. Zio always felt that the nurse wasn't really happy. It's because they feel the same way about her. She kept the girl on the roof for years. Didn't she really think it would make her happy? Just the opposite. Even now, she was constantly waiting for her to come to the roof. The girl doesn't want to see her suffer. This time, they both need to rest properly. Zio Zio ran up to the girl and hugged her tightly. The nurse began to cry. It turns out that the baby was not happy all this time. Meanwhile, she leaned against the side and exhaled heavily. He was just scared shitless. Fortunately, everything went according to plan, except for that jerk Lai Jia Hao. But happiness and sadness come by themselves. Only the person himself can give himself a sense of redemption. And this is their redemption. The nurse disappeared into thin air while Jiang Chi finished his special assignment and won. She reached into his pocket and realized that he had forgotten to give the girl the sneakers. She's so small, but she walks barefoot. It looks like he won't be able to see her anymore. Jiang Chi already had an individual score, S. The level increased to 1 and physical strength increased to 5. As a reward, the guy received the best funeral urn, Zio Zio's medical suitcase and a special uniform the color of blood. She was shocked by such a large harvest. He had received so much. Then now he could return to the real world with peace of mind. However, a minute later, unknown interference occurred during the return. This was reported by the system itself. It was not written in the textbook that such a thing could happen. Meanwhile, Alfred was sitting at a desk in an almost empty classroom. A stout teacher with a thick mustache, the headmaster of the tanking school, asked him if he was sure that the task they were given had changed into a nightmare mode. The guy replied that everything was exactly like that. When he left the mysterious world, only Jiang Qi, Lai Jia Hao and Lai Zio Zio remained there. If he hadn't turned into a nightmare mode, he wouldn't have been able to get out in advance. The director realized that of the three people, only one remained alive. It was visible on a special object, where only one green light was burning. Alfred thought that the survivor was most likely Jiang Qi. A classmate at the next desk asked the guy if he was crazy with fear. 
If the president died, did he really think that lazy Zhang Qi could survive? The director slammed the table menacingly and told them to stop immediately. It doesn't matter who completes this regime, he will still be the pride of their school. The headman came into the classroom and said that the task had already been completed. Why hasn't the student come out yet? There was a girl with long purple hair standing behind the headman. She digested the information she had received. Meanwhile, Chi found himself near the heavenly prison. But wasn't that his dream? Why was he moved here? The big heavy door opened by itself, and Chi wondered if it opened automatically. He tried to move it, and it was really not easy. There were torches with fire on the walls inside, which made it quite light inside. It is no longer known how many times he was not allowed out the door this month. Surely this can't be a trap. The system welcomed the guy to the heavenly prison. Is he a subordinate? Suddenly, he began to feel everything here. It turned out that everything in the prison was under his control. So this is not just a dream, but a real place. But anyway, isn't this prison too dirty? The brunette realized that there was some very strange movement coming from the floor. As he pulled back the curtain of chains, he saw his legs chained with shackles. Lifting his gaze higher and higher, he hoped that he would see a very beautiful girl. But then he saw that she had no head and immediately became upset. He knew that nothing should be expected. It was a complete headless dark spirit. Zio Man. The instructions said that increasing the level of sympathy would allow Chi to better control her and give her a chance to gain some of her abilities. And her sympathy level was zero. 